Hey guys, welcome back to some more RuneScape. Uh, not sure what we're going to do today. I'm guessing we're just going to continue down this quest line. First things first, though, it's been a minute. Let's go to Anachronia. I've kind of, uh, I have neglected Anachronia for a little bit. I think I need to raise some skills to um, make more progress in Anachronia. Right now, I'm just basically, because I got the big upgrades, I'm kind of just like, Allowing myself to get a bunch of resources in every type. So that, you know, whenever I get my skills up to par, maybe I'll be able to do the upgrades quickly. Uh, so I'm not super fussed about my pace on this at the moment. But let's see if I can build anything yet. Uh, so I need 70 agility for this. What am I at? I'm at 53. I should do an agility run at some point. I'm sure that'll take a while. Let's see. Hunter Lodge requires 70. Hunter, that's not going to happen. 70 Slayer, that'll take a while. What am I at with Slayer? 53. I know there's a Slayer quest I need to do. Uh, I don't remember what that's called. It has like Ash or something in the title, doesn't it? And this one I'm ready to do, but I need to get more resources. So I'll probably come back to this in a couple days and build this. What is this? What will this allow me to do? That's finding building resources uh, increased by 10%. Lodge restores health, prayer, and summoning points. Uh, ability to modify house teletabs to teleport to the player lodge. I don't know what that means, but I'm sure it is wonderful. Also, this requires Remo Totem. Um, what totem pieces do I have? I, don't, I think I have one Remo Totem piece, but I think I probably need like three. Let's let's just look up Totem. Let's see. I have the Remo Totem middle, so I'm guessing there's a, a base and a top. I have a crystal top. And an aura's base. So no clue what those are, but I, I think I get those from just, like, skilling around here. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure I got some by, like, just doing agility, and then I suddenly had a part of a... I, I think I got some from doing mining, etc. All right! So have we started this? Let's see. Uh, actually, you know, before we do this, let's take a look at our quests real fast. Um, Was there something about Ash? Or something like that. I'm trying to remember what the the Slayer quest was. I don't know if I have it unlocked. Uh, I do... Part of me wants to do these ones, but I think I should... You know what? We're not in a rush. We've, we've done a huge construction grind, and construction grinds are easy. They just take a long time. Let's, let's continue on. Let's continue on. So where is this? The guard at Sinclair Mansion, north of Sears Village. Okay, we can do that. Uh, you know what? While we're here... Hmm... I think I'll stick with melee for now. Alright, we'll hit this just to be safe. And then, for food... I know I was told cakes are terrible. But... For these low-level quests, it's fine. It's fine. We'll be okay. All right. Sears Village. Hey, Daisy. How's it going? All right. I have no clue what Roar of Osseus was. So, okay, so the Sinclair Mansion north of Sears Village. Is that, like, up here? Oh, it's telling me. Derp. Doing pretty well. I cannot complain. Here are the hops I've neglected for probably well over a week now. All right. Talk to Gossip. What do you have to say? There's some kind of commotion up at the Sinclair place, I hear. Not surprised in all things considered. Okay, good talk. Hey, Soul Shred, how's it going? Hey, what's up, buddy? What's going on here? Oh, it's terrible. Lord Sinclair's been murdered, and we don't have any clues as to who or why. We're totally baffled. If you could help us, we'll be very grateful. All right. Accept quest. Sure, I'll help. Thanks a lot. What should I be doing to help? 
Look around and investigate. Who might be responsible? The Sarge said every murder leaves clues to who done it. But frankly, we're out of our depth here. Okay. Oh, did this used to look quite different? Hey, what's up, milk seller? Would you like to buy some milk? No, thank you. If you change your mind, you know where we are. All right, let's investigate the beehive. Our first clue. It's a very old beehive. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> investigate the compost heap. All right. Hey, uh, right around when you started playing, all the zones around are don't have... Oh, okay, cool. It's nice and autumn-y. Uh, heap of compost. All right. What's up, Stanford? I'm here to help the guards with their investigation. How can I help? Who do you think is responsible? Well, I'm jumping to, like... <laughs> I don't know if this is the first question you'd ask. It was Anna. She is seriously unbalanced. She trashed the garden once. They tried to blame it on me. I bet it was her. It's just the kind of thing she'd do. She really hates me and was arguing with Lord Sinclair about trashing the garden a few days ago. Okay, so you think it's Anna? Where were you at the time of the murder? Hello, Jorda. How's it going? Right here, by my little shed. It's very cozy to sit and think in. All right. Did you hear any suspicious noises at all? Not that I remember. So no sounds of a struggle between Lord Sinclair and an intruder. Not to the best of my recollection. How about the guard dog barking? Not that I recall. Okay. Oh, congrats! Let's investigate these. So this is his his uh his shed. Some fly paper, should I take it? Uh sure, why not? There's still plenty of fly paper left. So let's examine this. Okay, so that's like the stuff that you hang to catch flies, I presume? Sure. Let's do our daily churn. Okay, never mind. Hmm. It drains from the kitchen. This is where waste from the kitchen comes out. Hmm. Oh, Bob. A large number of insects are around the base. Is that, does that mean something? Nothing interesting happens. What's up, Bob? I'm here to help the guards with their investigation. I suppose I'd better talk to you then. Who do you think is responsible? Is he going to say Stanford? I don't really care as long as no one thinks it's me. Maybe it was the strange poison seller who headed towards the Sears village. Uh, what? Where were you when the murder happened? I was walking by myself in the garden. Can anyone vouch for that? No, but I was. All right. Uh, yeah, Daisy, I, I stream probably most days, not necessarily daily, but most days. Um, I'm here to help the guards with their investigation. How can I help? Who do you think is responsible? Honestly, I think it was Carol. That's who, um, Sanford thought it, no, Sanford thought it was Anna. I think it was Carol. I saw her in a huge argument with Lord Sinclair in the library the other day. It was something to do with stolen books. She definitely seemed upset enough to have done it afterwards. All right, let's see. How can I help? Where were you at the time of the murder? Uh, no, on a few platforms. Twitch, YouTube. Hey, Snow Lady, how's it going? Where were you at the time of the murder? 
I was in town at the inn. When I got back, the house was swarming with guards who told me what had happened. Sorry. Hmm. As you approach the gate, the guard dog starts barking loudly at you. There's no way an intruder could have committed the murder. It must have been someone the dog knew to get past it quietly. All right. So, okay. So, any suspicious noises? Well, like what? Any sounds of struggle with Lord Sinclair? No, I don't remember hearing anything like that. How about a guard dog barking? I hear him bark all the time. It's one of his favorite things to do. I can't say uh, I did the night of the murder, though. Because I wasn't close enough to hear either way. Okay, where did he say he was? He said he was, like, coming back. Where were you? He was at the inn. I wonder if, um, when I got back, it was swarming with guards. I wonder if there is a poison seller I need to talk to. Oh, family crest. Let's see. Huh. Examine, oh, am I examining stuff through the wall? All right, let's go in. All right. Ooh, criminal's dagger. Before we take it, can we examine it? A flimsy looking dagger found at the crime scene. High alchemy price, one coin. Perfect. The knife doesn't seem sturdy enough to have killed Lord Sinclair. Wait, what? Really? Seems like Lord Sinclair was drinking from this before he died. Uh, no, my YouTube videos are generally, uh, with, a, with a couple exceptions, my YouTube vi videos are generally VOD dumps. They're ar like archive VODs. Smash window. This is weird. Okay. Some thread seems to have caught on a loose nail on the window. So is this, you take the thread. Is this all, uh, is this all staged? The poison pot, a dagger that couldn't kill him. Oh, sorry, pungent pot. Uh, pot with a sickly odor and it said it was poisoned. All right. Interesting. Search the bookcase. All right. All right. I'm here to help the guards with their investigation. Oh, really? What do you want to know then? Who do you think was responsible? It was clearly an intruder. Well, I don't think it was. It was one of our lazy servants then. Wait, so Anna was the one that... Did he say that Anna blamed it on him? What do you want to know then? Where were you when the murder happened? In the library. No one else was there. So you'll have to take my word for it. Wait, the library? Isn't that the room with the... Is that the room with the dagger and stuff? Okay, Daisy, I am not sure. Are you, like, trying to, um... <laughs> Are you, like, trying to be hired or something? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just curious. Oh, I, I'm guessing... I'm guessing that's the case. I, I'm not looking to hire any, like... Anything. If that's the case. Okay. I'm here to help the guards with their investigation. Oh, really? What do you want to know then? Do you recognize this thread? You show Anna the thread from the study. Not really, no. Thread is fairly common. I'm here to help with the investigation. How can I help? 
Who do you think is responsible? Well, in my considered opinion, it must be David. The man is nothing more than a bully. And I happen to know that poor Lord Sinclair and David had a massive argument in the living. In the living room about the way he treats his staff. The other day, I did not intend to overhear their conversation, but they were shouting so loudly. I could not happen to overhear it. I could not help but happen to overhear it. David de definitely used the words, I'm going to kill you, as well as, I think he should be the prime suspect. Oh, wait, as well. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> He's used the words, I'm going to kill you, as well. I think he should be the prime suspect. He has a nasty temper, that one. Where were you at the time of the murder? I was assisting the cook with the evening meal. I gave Mary his lordship's dinner and sent her to take it to him. Then heard the scream and found the body. Wait, I was assisting the cook with the evening meal. I gave Mary his lordship's dinner. Okay. So um, there's a Mary and sent her to take it to him. Then I heard the scream as she found the body. Uh, okay, that seems like a huge suspect. How can I help? Do you hear any suspicious noises at all? How do you mean suspicious? Any sound of struggle with Lord Sinclair? No, I definitely didn't hear anything like that. How about a guard dog barking? You know, now that you mention it, I don't believe I did. I suppose that's proof enough that I could not have been an intruder who was responsible. All right. Hmm. Let's search Anna's barrel. I missed that. There's something shiny hidden at the bottom. You take Anna's silver necklace. Huh. Okay. Do you have anything else to say now that I have your necklace? We want to know. Okay. There's nothing there. Louisa. I'm here to help the guards with their investigation. How can I help? Who do you think is responsible? Elizabeth. Who are... Oh, there's a whole other floor. That's why. <laughs> her father confronted her about her constant petty thieving and was devastated uh, to find she had stolen a silver needle, which had meant a lot to him. You could hear the argument from Lumbridge. All right. Where were you at the time of the murder? I was right here with Hobbs and Mary. You can't suspect me, surely. Just asking questions. How can I help? You know, uh, did you hear any suspicious noises? Suspicious? What do you mean suspicious? Any sounds of a struggle with an intruder, for example? No, I'm sure I don't recall any such thing. How about the guard dog barking at an intruder? No, I didn't. If you don't have anything else to ask, you should uh, go and leave me alone. Uh, can you go and leave me alone now? I have a lot of cooking to do for this evening. For who? Okay. Uh, I'm going to actually come back here. I want to check something. So he said there's a potion seller, right? I mean a poison seller. So, what did I do to do the... Uh, where were you when the murder happened? Oh, I have to ask about the threat also. I'm walking by myself in the garden. No, but I was. Okay, do you recognize this thread? It's some red thread. I suppose you think that's some kind of clue. It looks like the material my trousers are made of. Huh. Huh. Maybe it was a strange poison seller who was headed towards Searsville. Is this a, a red herring? Very weird. Okay, what do you have to say? I'm investigating the murder at the Sinclair place. Murder, is it? Well, I'm not really surprised. What can you tell me about the Sinclairs? Well, what do you want to know? 
Tell me about Lord Sinclair. Old Lord Sinclair was a great man, with a lot of respect in these parts. More than his worthless children have, anyway. His children? They have something to gain by his death? Yes, you could say that. Not that I am one to gossip. <laughs> okay. Tell me about the Sinclairs. Why do the Sinclairs live so far from town? Well, they used to live in a big castle, but old Lord Sinclair gave it up so that those strange knights could live there instead. So the king built him a new house to the north. It's more cramped than his old place, but he seemed to like it. His children were furious at him for doing it, though. How am I enjoying the game? I've just seen playstyle going for the quests right away. Going just for the... I don't go just for the quests right away. I mean, I feel like I'm really, really behind on the quests. Um, but I am really, I am really enjoying it. Uh, basically what I've been doing is, for the most part, is quests on stream as skilling off stream. So, basically off stream, okay, I put in about, what, like 430 hours into the game or something. Um, and I've done, I don't know how many streams I've done of it, but all my time on stream, which was a fraction of that time, was doing quests, but all the time off stream was like skilling stuff. Oh, let's see. Oops. Excuse me. Definitely the majority of my time has been skilling. I just spare you guys most of that because I'm sure it'd be boring. Okay. Oh, I, sorry, I need to read this one again. Why do they live so far from town? They used to live in a castle. Um, He gave it up so those strange knights could live there instead. So the king built him a new house to the north. It's a more cramped than his old place. But he seemed to like it. His children were furious at him for doing it, though. Okay. I just let him into the Sinclair place by accident. All right. Uh, what can you tell me about his sons? His sons, eh? They all have their own skeletons in their cupboards. You'll have to be more, speci more specific. Who are you interested in, exactly? Tell me about Bob. Okay, so that's Bob. Bob is an odd character indeed. I'm not one to gossip, but I hear Bob is addicted to tea. He can't make it. He can't make it through the day without having at least 20 cups. You might not think that's such a big thing, but he has spent thousands of gold to feed his habit. Okay. At one point, he stole a lot of silverware from the kitchen and pawned it just so he could afford to buy his daily tea allowance. If his father ever found out, he would be so in so much trouble. He might even get disowned. All right. That's an odd motive. I hate how um it kicks you out of the the conversation completely, and you have to like re go through all the dialogue tree to get to where you want to want to be at. Tell me about David. I know it's David. Can you guess who? It's a mystery, David. Oh, David. Not many people know this, but David really has an anger problem. He's always screaming and shouting at the household servants when he's angry. And they live in a state of fear, always walking on eggshells around him, but none of them have the courage to talk to his father about his behavior. If they did, Lord Sinclair would almost certainly kick him out of the house, as some of the servants have been there longer than he has. But he definitely has no right to treat them like he does, and I'm not one, of, one to gossip about people. All right. Tell me about his sons. Okay. So Bob is, is a weird tea drinker that might have the thread. Um, David's an angry dude who is uh, treats the, the servants poorly. So that would give the servants a, a way to frame him. But I doubt the servants would, would want to... I, I can't imagine the servants would have a motive to kill their employer. Tell me about Frank. I'm not one to talk ill about people behind their back, but Frank is a real piece of work. He's an absolute terrible gambler. He can't pass two dogs on the street without putting a bet on which one will bark first. He's already squandered all of his allowance. And I heard he'd stolen a number of paintings of his father's to sell it to try to cover the debts. He still owes a lot of people a lot of money. 
If his father ever found out, he would stop his income. And then he would be in serious trouble. All right, let's talk about the daughters. Uh, can you tell me about his daughters? His daughters, eh? They're all nasty pieces of work. Which of them specifically do you want to know about? Tell me about Anna. Anna? Ah, uh, yes. Anna has two great loves. What, something and herself? Oh, okay. He w <laughs> I just assumed he was going to say something catty. <laughs> Sewing and gardening. But one thing she has kept secret is she once had an affair with Stanford the gardener. And she has tried to get him fired when they broke up. By killing all of the flowers in the garden. If her father ever found out she had done that, he would be so furious he would probably disown her. Okay. Let's talk about the daughters. Carol. I don't remember. Have I met Carol? Was Ca Oh, was Carol? I don't think I've met her. Oh, Carol. She is such a fool. You didn't hear this from me, but a while... I heard a while ago she was conned out of a lot of money by a traveling salesman who sold her a box full of beans by telling her they were magic, but they weren't. She sold some rare books from the library to cover her debts, but her father would be incredibly annoyed if he ever found out. He might even throw her out of the house. Okay, and lastly, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, Elizabeth has a strange problem. She cannot help herself, but is always stealing small objects. It's pretty sad that she is rich enough to afford to buy things, but she would rather steal them instead. Elizabeth has a strange problem. She cannot help herself. She's always stealing small objects. Okay. Now, I don't want to spread stories, but I heard she even stole a silver needle from her father that had great sentimental value for him. We heard that from someone else, right? He was devastated when it was lost. He cried for a week, thinking he had lost it. If he ever found out it was her who had stolen it, he would go absolutely mental, maybe even disowning her. Who told us that before? Was that like Louisa? Who do you think is responsible? Well, I guess it could have been an intruder, but with that big guard dog of theirs, I seriously doubt it. I suspect it was someone closer to home. Especially as I heard a poison salesman in Sears Village made a big sale to one of the family the other day. Okay, let's go to the poison person. Let's see. Is there an actual poison store? I'm going to check the map real fast. Um, okay, there's icons that we don't have enabled because I saw them on the mini map. Hmm. Okay, what's in here? Oh, 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 who is this? A state agent? No, thank you. What the heck is that statue? I've never paid attention to that. Okay, that's the bank. What's over here? Is this like a church or something? What is this? Okay, this looks like a whole... Oh, Gawain. So these like knights... Oh, this is Knights of the Round Table? King Arthur? I think it's safe to say these are the Knights of the Round Table. Okay. I have a feeling this is not involved. Hello, Mega Wolf. How's it going? All right. Where is this poison guy? Wait, have we just headed over to... Is this Catherby? This is Catherby, isn't it? Okay. It's going pretty well, I would say. I'm enjoying it, as always. I'm currently trying to solve a murder mystery. I'm looking for a poison cellar. Is that a crystal tree? 
Fallout, right? Hmm. Town Crier, do you have any, any info for me? Hear ye, hear ye. Player moderators, Maz have helped to rune skit. Oh, hello. I am not here to... No, thank you. I will pass on the meta conversation. Is this just a prison? Court is not in session today. Hmm. Okay. To be honest, you're trying to play RuneScape yourself and just got membership because uh, you thought you were understanding the game, but now you're just as lost as when you started. Yeah, it's it's an interesting one. I mean, uh, I'm definitely super new to it. Super, uh super beginner but um i'm really enjoying it there's always routes to go with you know getting distracted by which skills you want to raise if you sort quest by timeline you can basically find all the easy quests first but i'm not a person that's <laughs> should be giving tips on this game at all but the community seems really helpful helpful from what i've seen ah uh, what was that dark force i've never sensed anything like it Anyway, sorry about that. Uh, I see... What have you sensed lately? I haven't sens sensed much recently. Except for when the gods departed from their battlefield near Lumbridge. Okay, so that's that's not um, really relevant to us, because that's a later thing. Okay, that's just the dude we can attack. Where the heck is the poison cellar? I wonder if the poison... What the, what the frick? Why would I spy on a penguin? What possible purpose could it serve? I guess I'll do it anyways. Penguin hide and seek? What in the world? Is this a tavern? Oh, this might be where he is. This would make the most sense. Poison salesman, there we go. Spent about 5 million on gear. Nice. I have not even... I have not even earned 5 million in this game. I'm in investigating the murder at the Sinclair house. There was a murder at the Sinclair house? That's terrible. And I was only there the other day, too. They bought the last of my patented multi-purpose poison. Patented multi-purpose poison? Ah, uh, miracle of modern apothecaries. This exclusive concoction has been tested on all known forms of life and uh, been proven to kill uh, to kill them all in varying dilutions from cockroaches to king dragons. So incredibly versatile, it can be used as pest control, a cleansing agent, drain cleaner, metal polish, and washes whiter than white. All right, pest control, cleansing agent... All right. All with our uniquely fragrant concoction that is immediately recognizable across the land is Peter Potter's patented poison potion. The salesman stops her breath. <sighs> I'd love to sell you some, but I've sold out recently. That's just how good it is. 328 people in this area alone cannot be wrong. Nine out of ten poisoners prefer it in controlled tests. Can I help you with anything else? Perhaps I can take your name and add it to our mailing list of poison users. We will only <laughs> send you information related to the use of poison and other Peter Potter products. Listen, I only poison dogs in this game. Uh, no, it's okay, really. I felt really guilty after last time. I'm investigating the murder at the Sinclair house. All right. Who did you sell the poison to at the house? Well, Peter Potter's patented multi-purpose poison is a product of such obvious quality that I'm glad to say I managed to sell a bottle to each of the Sinclairs. Oh, wow, this wound up being a useless lead. Anna, Bob, Carol, David, Elizabeth, Frank all bought a bottle. In fact, four, six. In fact, they bought the last of my supplies. Maybe I can take your name and address, and I will personally come visit you when stocks return. Uh, no, it's okay. Can I buy some poison? 
I'm afraid I'm totally out of stock at the moment after my successful trip to the Sinclair's house the other day. But don't worry, our factories are working overtime to produce Peter Potter's patented multi-purpose poison. Possibly the finest multi-purpose poison and cleaner yet available to the general market. And its unique fragrance makes it the number one choice for cleaners and exterminators the whole country over. All right, and lastly, I have this pot I found at the murder scene. You show the poison salesman the pot you found at the murder scene with the unusual smell. Yes, it smells exactly like my patented multi-purpose poison, but I don't see how it could be. It's quite, it quite clearly says on the label of all bottles, not to be taken internally, extremely poisonous. Perhaps someone else put it in his wine. Yes, I suppose this could have happened. Do you have anything else to say? Huh. Okay. I don't know if we learned anything there, except maybe that there's wine involved. I feel like that was a little bit of a dud of a lead. All right, this guy has a couple other things he'll say, but I'm not sure if they're like hints or something like like I'm lost. Like, I think the butler did it. And I think you're reading too many cheap detective novels. Hobbes is kind of uptight, but his loyalty to his Lord Sinclair is beyond question. All right. I'm so confused about who did it. Is he going to give me like, uh, you know, what? we'll pass on this for now. I feel like that's, uh, like a meta, like, I'm stuck. I could be wrong, though. I'll go out there if I don't have anything. Okay. How did Lord Sinclair die? Well, it's all very mysterious. Mary the Maid found the body in the study next to his bedroom in the east wing of the ground floor. The door was found locked from the inside, and he seemed to have been stabbed, but there was an odd smell in the room. Frankly, I'm stumped. Okay. So Mary, okay, let me get this straight with what we have. Stanford had an affair with Anna. Anna tried to get him fired by destroying all the crops. Then subsequently, she has blamed the murder on him, so he thinks she did it. Okay. Bob has a tea problem and stole silverware to sell it. Um, he, there's thread on the broken window that looks like it matches his pants. There's a dagger that appears like it couldn't have done the killing, but there is the poison that was sold to every one of the children. Uh, I, I don't remember what Hobbs said. I think this girl said that Okay, so the kid... Oh, whatever. We'll, we'll we'll deal with this in a bit. Let's see. So Louisa... She said something about Elizabeth and the needle, right? Who do you think is responsible? Elizabeth. Her father confronted her about the constant thieving and was devastated to find she had stolen... Okay. You could hear their argument. So there were three arguments, but also there was... Uh, one person who was it Hobbs that was helping with the food and gave the food to someone the person gave the food to Sinclair and then he was poisoned and that same person found the body um you know how much poison was bought recently or why so much poison was bought recently well, I do know that Elizabeth was extremely annoyed by the mosquito nest under the fountain in the garden and was going to do something about it I suspect any poison she bought would have been enough to get rid of it. A good job, too. I hate mosquitoes. Yes, and so do I. You really have to ask her, though. Okay, Louisa. How can I help? You know why so much poison was bought recently? I told Carol to buy some of that strange poison uh, from that strange poison salesman to clean the drains before they began to smell any worse. She was the one who blocked them in the first place with a load of beans that she bought for some reason there were far too many to eat 
and they were almost rotten when she bought them anyways. You'd have to ask her, though. Okay, so... Oh, so now we can probably check if, if any of these don't have the scent. So does this have a scent? It doesn't tell us anything about it. Uh. But this said there were dead bugs, right? Or oh, it doesn't. Huh. Why'd you buy poison the other day? What was it to you anyway? You must absolutely know we had a problem with the beehive in the garden. And as all our servants are so pathetically useless, I decided I would deal with it myself, so I did. I'm guessing we'll get an item later that will help us detect poison, maybe? I'm guessing I'm guessing they each have an alibi. One person at the beehive, one person at the compost heap, you know, each of the things we can investigate. One person to clean that. These bees definitely don't seem poisoned at all. Huh. I mean, so he has two he has two things levied against him at the moment. He has the thread and the And the uh, beehive. Okay. What should I be doing to help? We're going to investigate who might be responsible. The Sarge said the murder leaves... Uh, every murder leaves clues. But frankly, we're out of our depth here. How did Lord Sinclair die? Okay, we, we actually just, just read that recently. Hey, David. I know it's David. Is David the gambler? I'm here to help with the investigation. And, make this quick, I have better things to do than be interrogated by halfwits all day. Or, no, he was the guy who was, was really mean to all the servants? Who do you think was responsible? I don't really know or care. Frankly, the old man deserved to die. There was a suspicious red-headed man who came to the house the other day selling poison. Now that I think about it, last, uh, last I saw, he was headed towards the tavern in the Sears village. Wait. But he bought poison, didn't he? I, I don't think it was him, but... Although, it would be weird if, um... If Bob did it, why was he the one who told us about the poison cellar? Where were you when the murder happened? That's none of your business. Are we finished now, or are you just going to stand there, irritating me with your idiotic questions all day? You recognize this thread. You show him the thread you found on the study window. No, can I go yet? Your face irritates me. Why'd you buy poison the other day? There was a nest of spiders upstairs between the two uh, servants' quarters. Obviously, I had to kill them before, before our pathetic servants whined at my father some more. Honestly... It's like they expect to be treated like royalty. If I had my way, I would fire the whole work-shy lot of them. All right. Frank. I'm here to help the guards with their investigation. Good for you. Now, what else do you want? And can you spare me any money? I'm a little short. Who do you think was responsible? I don't know. You don't know how long it takes... Uh, you don't know how long it takes an inheritance to come through, do you? I could really use the money pretty soon. Okay, he must be the gambler. Where were you when the murder happened? I don't know. Somewhere around here, probably. Could you spare me a few coins? I'll be able to pay you double tomorrow. It's just that there's this poker night here tonight in town. Oh, Lord. You recognize this thread? Frank examines the thread from the crime scene. You can vibe with the dude who needs inheritance money. Oh, God. <laughs> well, I think there is a, a poker game tonight in town, so maybe you can uh, get lucky off that. It looks like thread to me, but I'm not exactly an expert. 
Is it worth something? Can I have it? Actually, can you spare me a few gold? Why'd you buy poison the other day? Probably something about that? Would you like to buy some? I'm kind of strapped for cash right now. I'll sell you it cheap. It's hardly been used at all. I just used a bit to clean... Oh, the family crest. Outside, uh, up a bit. You think I can get money for the family crest, actually? I've cleaned it up a bit now. It's... Oh, it has a slight smell of poison. Okay, so I think basically we know that it's clearly not him. I thought it said something about dead bug. Oh, there are a lot of dead mosquitoes around the base. And a faint smell of poison. Okay, so it's not them. I feel like it has to be Bob, but I'm gonna... I'm going to check this out. The drain seems to have been recently cleaned. You can still smell the faint aroma of poison. Okay, it's not... Uh, was that Anna or Elizabeth? There's a faint smell of poison behind the compost. It's, it has to be Bob, right? Let's, let's go check to... Um, I'm still going to talk to everyone. Oops. You know why so much poison was bought recently? Well, Bob mentioned to me the other day that he wanted to get rid of the bees in that hive over there. I think I saw him buying poison from the poison salesman the other day. I assume it was to sort out those bees. You'd really have to ask him, though. Why would you... Wait, that's a beehive, right? Why would you need to poison a beehive to get rid of bees? I'm very confused by why you would even want to do that. Okay. I think we're done with this floor. Is there a cook in here? All right. Mirrored up the guards with their, their investigation. Well, ask what you want to know then. Who do you think was responsible? I don't know. I think it's very convenient that you have just arrived here so soon after it happened. Maybe it was you. Okay. So soon after it happened. So is this the person that they said was an idiot? Where were you when the murder happened? Why? Are you accusing me of something? You seem to have a very high opinion of yourself. I was in my room. Uh, if you must know, alone. I'm here to help with the... Okay, what do you need to know? Do you recognize this thread? You show Carol the thread found at the crime scene. Hmm, it's some red thread. It kind of looks this, like the same material as my trousers, but it's obviously not. Okay... So there's two. Why'd you buy poison the other day? I don't see uh, what on earth it has to do with you, but the drain outside was blocked, and nobody else here has the intelligence to even unblock a simple drain. I felt I had to do it. Oh, so she's the one who bought the beans. There's something shiny hidden at the bottom. You take sil Carol's silver bottle. Hmm. Okay. So the one thing that we know is that she did, in fact, at the very least, clean the drain. Silver book. What is the deal with all of these guys having silver? Okay, Mary was the one who found the body and who uh, brought the food to him, right? I'm here to help the guards with your investigation. How can I help? Who do you think is responsible? He's going to say Carol. Oh, I don't know. Frank was acting kind of funny after that big argument. Um, him and the Lord have the other day by the beehive. So, maybe it's him. But it's really scary. To think someone here might have been responsible. I actually hope it was a burglar. He's doing an interesting face. Where were you at the time of the murder? 
I was with Hobbs and Louisa in the kitchen, helping to prepare Lord Sinclair's meal. Then, when I took it to his study, I saw... Oh, it was horrible. He was... He seems to be... On, she seems to be on the verge of crying. You decided not to push her anymore for details. What is the deal with the dagger, then? You hear any suspicious noises at all? Oh, I, I wonder... Oh, never mind. I was about to have a really stupid line of thought my line of thought for a second was going to be uh it was a silver dagger so maybe whoever's room doesn't have silver it was them but ignore that thought red did you hear any suspicious noises at all i don't really remember hearing anything out of the ordinary no sense of a struggle then no i don't remember hearing anything like that how about a guard dog barking oh that horrible dog is always barking at nothing but i don't think i did we can investigate the gate for some reason though I'm here to help the guards with the investigation. How can I help? You know why so much poison was bought recently? I overheard Annas saying to Stanford that if he didn't do something about the state of the compost heap, she was going to... She was going to. She really doesn't get on well with Stanford. I really have no idea why. You'd have to ask her, though. Okay. So Anna poisoned the compost heap. Carol did the storm drain. Frank did um, the family crest. Uh, what's her face downstairs? Did the fountain. Now I need to see if David poisoned this. Paints all the poison and a few dead spiders is all that remains of the spider's nest. So it, it has to be him, right? It has to be Bob? Okay, we'll search Frank's barrel. Frank's silver pot. Okay. Excuse me, Elizabeth. We got the silver needle. Wait, so that's Elizabeth's. That's Frank's. Where's Bob's room? That's David. That's Carol. We got the necklace from Anna. Where's Bob's room? I have to find that. I'm here to help the guards with their investigation. What's so important? You need to bother me with that. Who do you think was responsible? Could have been anyone. The old man, it was an idiot. He's been asking for it for years. All right. What's so important that you need to bother me with then? Where were you when the murder happened? I was out. You care to be more specific? Not really. I don't have to justify myself to the likes of you, you know. I know the king personally, you know. Now, are we finished here? Not quite. Do you recognize this thread? You sure were the thread from the study window? It's some thread. You're not very good at this whole investigation thing, are you? What's so important that you need to bother me with then? Why'd you buy poison the other day? There's a nest of mosquitoes under the fountain in the garden, which I killed with poison the other day. You can see for yourself you're capable of managing that, which I somehow doubt. Wait, what did um the girl downstairs poison? I can't remember. I hate mosquitoes. Doesn't everyone? I'm here to help with the investigation. How could I help? Who do you think is responsible? Oh, I really couldn't say. I wouldn't really want to point any fingers at anybody. If I had to make a guess, I'd say it was probably Bob, though. I saw him arguing with Lord Sinclair about some missing silverware from the kitchen. It was a very heated argument. Where were you at the time of the murder? Mia was sound asleep here in the servants' quarters. It's very hard work as a handyman around here. It's always something I do. All right. Any suspicious noises? 
Mm, no, I didn't. But I sleep very soundly at night. You didn't hear any sounds of struggle or any barking from the guard dog next to his study window. Now that you mentioned it, it is odd. I didn't hear anything like that. But I do sleep very soundly, as I said, and wouldn't necessarily have heard if there was such any such noise. Do you know why so much poison was bought recently? Well, I do know Frank bought some po uh, bought some poison recently to clean the family crest that's outside. It's very old and rusty, so I couldn't clean it myself, so he probably went to buy some cleaner to clean it himself. He probably just uh, got some from the poison salesman who came to the door the other day. You really have to ask him, though. Okay. I need to ask the girl downstairs. I forget what she did. Oh, she did the compost. All right. Search the bookcase. Any nothing of interest. Address form. Whoever says apply now for great savings. Don't let this great deal pass you by. Nothing interests you. What's this? Huh. Okay, I want to check one last thing. I think we can pretty safely say it was, uh... Bob. Oh, this is Luis's room. Let's search Bob's barrel. Bob's silver... Co oh. Huh. Huh. I want to investigate this real fast. Okay. All right. Wait, who? What was Pierre's deal? Was he just to tell us about like the um the dog? Okay. So he's just telling us about David's spider nest. It'd be quite a big deal about it to marry the maid, calling her useless and incompetent. I feel quite sorry for her. You'd actually have to ask him, though. Okay. Who do you think is responsible? Honestly, I think it was Carol. All right. Oh, so these are all the stolen... Okay. Hang on a second. So that was a stolen book of Carol's. Okay, 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 okay. Let me check something. Who do you think is responsible? He's gonna say something about Anna. Did you see anything about a necklace? Huh. Okay, Elizabeth took the needle. What's her face took that? We know about the teacup. Someone was gambling. What the? Uh, I, I, whatever, whatever. Let's just let's just make our accusation. Actually, let's talk to the gossip. Now, now that we we're pretty sure we know who it is, let's just say this. Uh, this might be of some help to you. My father was in the guards when he was younger. And he always said that there isn't a crime that can't be solved through careful examination of the crime scene and all surrounding areas. Okay, so it's not really... Not really a clue. Let's go. I know who did it. I have proof one of the family lied about the poison. Oh, really? How'd you get it? Tell the guard about the beehive. Hmm. That's some good detective work there. We need more evidence before we can uh, close the case, though. Keep up the good work. I need... Do I have proof about the... I know who did it. I proof it wasn't any of the servants. The thread you found on the window. All the servants dressed in black, so it couldn't have been one of them. That's good work there. I guess it wasn't a servant. You still haven't proved who did it.
All right. Do I not? Can I talk to him now that I know about the beehive? Huh. Okay, is there something... Oops. That was an accident. I can't pick that up again? Oh, I already have it. Okay, great. I'm very confused. Oh, in my internet's going weird. How about this? Huh. We never use the flypaper for anything. Can I use the flypaper on the beehive for some reason? What would we possibly use the flypaper on? Okay, let's check something really quickly. Okay. One of the guards asked me to help in solving the murder. I should examine the crime scene very closely for evidence and interrogate everyone in the area carefully. I found this colored thread. It might be useful. I've taken the murder weapon. I thought they said the criminal dagger couldn't have been used in the murder. I have a strange smelling pot. So what I presume it's saying. Huh. Is I'm guessing the one is for one set of clues. The thread is for getting rid of the servant. Where do you have the murder weapon? What did it, what did it say about it initially? It was a flimsy looking dick. I thought it said it couldn't possibly be used. Let me drop this. Doesn't seem sturdy enough to have killed Lord Sinclair. Okay. And what could it have done? Examine. Hmm. Wait. Wait. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, it would make... Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. The note says, remember to blow out the candles when you leave the room to save energy. You can cook out a fireplace. Great. Did we ever explore the kitchen? We, we should explore the kitchen, because that's where, um, the food was. Investigate sacks. Oh, that's in the next room. Am I just going to have to talk to everyone again? Or is there something I missed from not dialogue? Okay, so which... Okay, Bob was... Bob had the teacup. All right. What did Anna have? Anna had the necklace. Let's just, let's just run this down real fast. Okay. David had the argument. He said, I'm going to kill you. I don't know why she had the necklace.
Okay, he doesn't he doesn't give us any shit. I want to check something. Okay, Bob. I'm not sure what we're missing to accuse him. Where were you? I was walking by myself in the garden. Did anyone vouch for that? No, but I was. All right. It looks like my pants. What's it to you anyway? We have a problem with the beehive in the garden. Hmm. Okay, they're not poisoned at all. Well, why can we get the fly paper? I don't know what we could possibly use that for. Hello, Stanford. Okay, what's up? All right. Now, we didn't really get a clue upstairs. I feel like it has to do with these items, though. I just don't know what it could be. He's right here. The fact that he was here and he didn't see anyone in the garden is weird. Wait, did he say he was in his shack? By my little shed? I feel like he should have been able to see the dude, but... All right. I think I saw him buying poison. You really have to ask him. Okay, let's talk to a guard again, just to see if we have what they'll count. All right. I don't need that. Need that. What about this? God damn it. Okay, can I ask you about this cup if I use it on you? Hmm. I'm actually a little bit lost. I felt like we had everything. I guess we need a smoking gun. Everything we have is like kind of circumstantial. Let's see. I mean, we should just be able to confront Bob about the poison. Okay, I never talked to this guard. Does this guy say anything different? Okay, we're out of our depth. Hmm. Mary the maid found his body in the study next to his bedroom in the east wing of the ground floor. It seemed to have been... He seemed to have been stabbed. The door was locked from the inside. Okay, wait. The door was locked from the inside. She brought him food. Did two people try to kill him? 
Were, was the stabbing and the uh, and the poison different? Did someone try to stab him, but the stabbing didn't kill him, but the poison did? That might be the deal. Okay, I have Elizabeth's needle. You know what? Let's go talk to... Let's talk to, uh... Mary. Mary brought him the food and found him. Okay. Frank was acting funny. After the big argument, uh... The Lord had the other day by the beehive. Okay, Frank is the gambler. Hmm. How did no one hear that sound of the glass breaking? That's my real question. She was with Louisa, right? Louisa and Hobbs? Do I have everything I need, or can I... Do I need to go back to the poison cellar? Is it, okay, so David had... Wait, David had the book. Wait a second. What was David fighting over? David was fighting over the um, maid staff, weren't, weren't they? This is the, the bottle. Huh. Okay. She says it was me. Because I showed up after the murder. She was in her room. It matches her pants, but also... Bob's. The drain. All right. We already got the thing from Frank's barrel. That was the uh, that was the pot. Okay, he thinks it's Bob. Missing silverware in the kitchen. Okay, he was in his room, sleeping. He sleeps very soundly. I'm just the worst at all these murder mystery quests in this game. Oh my god. Okay, clean the crest. Wait, really have to ask, um, was that ask Frank about the crest? Old and rusty, I couldn't clean it myself. Okay. I might have to go to the poison cellar again, but one one of the, maybe we should just talk make sure we talk to every person on the first floor again just to ensure that maybe someone else gave us a clue that we can run by the others. Where were you when it happened? I was out. I know the king. Okay, so Elizabeth stole the needle, right? I 
I don't recognize the thread. I am not very good at it. You are correct, Elizabeth. Okay. So Elizabeth has has the needle. And did poison the mosquitoes, as she said. Carol had... What did Carol have? A bottle? And she poisoned the pipe. What's up, guys? Let's see if anything jumps out to us. You think it's responsible, Elizabeth? Where were you? With Hobbs and Mary. Did you hear any noise? Okay. And why did they get poison? Uh, I told Carol to buy some strange boy. Wait. Okay. So that lines up. David tells us nothing of, of use. Dave gives us nothing. And his item was the book for some reason. Okay. My face irritates him. What's up, Frank? He doesn't give us anything good. So he had the pot. Oops. Okay, he just really wants money. Okay, there's Poker Night. He doesn't know where he was. Probably around here somewhere. You recognize this thread. He just wants money. And he was cleaning the crest. Okay. What's up, Hobbs? He thinks it's David, because David's a dick. He said, I'm going to kill you. Where were you? I was assisting uh, the cook with the evening meal. Okay, he doesn't say, they don't me mention Mary and Louisa. Wait, is Louisa the cook? She must be. Okay, any suspicious noises? Okay, what could I possibly be missing? I've talked to everyone, right? Multi like, twice? Oh, wrong person. A 
Okay. What do we we need to do something with his dagger? Hmm. Is it like a poison dagger? Is there any way for me to see that? Huh. Did I miss anything here? I'm going to talk to the poison guy and, and maybe they gossip once more. Wait. He thinks it was Carol. So two people think it was Carol, two people think it was, uh, Bob. Stolen books. But... Okay, I'm gonna try something. But it was, uh, David who had the book, not her. So did she get falsely accused of stealing a book? Nothing interesting happens. Let's ask David about the book. Nothing interesting. What the frick? Okay. Anna has the necklace. We have heard zero information about why the necklace would be pertinent. Bob has the teacup. We know he's addicted to tea. Frank has the pot. We have no idea why the pot would be pertinent. Elizabeth has the needle, which we know she stole. Here, let's go talk to Elizabeth about the needle. If we can. Carol has the bottle, which we have no idea would be important. And David has the book, which is weird. What in the world? Huh. What does the address form say again? It was just a meme, wasn't it? Who was it? It was Pierre that was saying the thing about Carol, right? In the library the other day, it seems something to do with a stolen book. She definitely seemed upset enough to have done it afterwards. A stolen book. I was in town at the inn. I think this book is important somehow. Hmm. Can I like use fly paper to like fingerprint or anything? Is there something I can... F oh, wait. Did I try flypapering? I think I did. Get... Wait.
Okay, I can't do any weird fingerprinting shit. <laughs> okay, let's go back to town. Do you think it was responsible? Okay, let's see. That's the end. Oh, uh, wait, can I like, um, God, I feel like there's got to be some fingerprinting thing. I just don't know how I would do it. Uh, where's the poison guy? Oh, God. Okay, let's get rid of both of these for now. I'll get a new one. Actually, can I pick one up? Where is the poison cellar? Oh. Uh, I have this pot I found. Okay, that's just the thing. Oh, maybe I have to, um... Maybe I have to use the flypaper on people. Oh, God. Okay. I'm just trying, I feel like the flypaper mixed with something. I, I, I can't imagine it's just the flypaper itself. Oh, can I pick this up? Where's the other one? Wasn't there another one? Whatever, it's gone. You got rainbow fish. Nice. Okay. Can I, like, use the... Because I, I need to get their prints, too. I can't just fingerprint an item. I need to get their prints. How the fuck do I do this? What could I possibly use it on? It has to be important because it said investigate sacks. Hmm. Is there something that we have to mix this with? Just use it on everything. I think I missed. Okay. Huh. It has to be, right?
And I can't use this on that. I can't use... Do I need, like... Oh, God. Do I need to actually... Huh. Oh, God. Okay, I'm going to try one more thing. And if this doesn't work... We're, uh... I'm gonna have to look for clues. Because I am at... a loss. Let's see. Go to the bank. I don't know if that flower would count. Let's see. Can we go over here and get some flour? The problem is it looks like there's things like churning butter. So I'm not sure if this is like <laughs> flour for a cook a flour for a cooking range or if it's part of the quest. Can I get this? Come on, hurry up. There we go. Nice. Wow, there's a lot of implings chilling out here. Nice. Okay, let's see. Can we... So, let's get flour. Can we do anything with this? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Examine. Okay! Can, do I have to verify it against guys, or can I just show it to the guard? Oh my lord. I'm defeated. <sighs> I know who did it. Wait, hang on. Can I, like, use this on... Silver Cup? Can I... Let's get more flour. So can I put these on the items? Like... They don't seem to be the same. I guess this clears David. Oh, okay. So it, it... Okay. Okay. Let's use it on the teacup. Oh my god. It's weird. It was like... You're biting my... I was so close for so long. Oh my god. Oh, I feel... <laughs> oh, I felt like we had it for... We knew who it was for so long. Oh my god. I know who did it. I know who did it. I have conclusive proof of who the killer was. You do? That's excellent work. Let's hear it. I don't think it was an intruder, and I don't think Lord Sinclair was killed by being stabbed. Really, why not? Nobody heard the guard dog barking, which would have, uh, uh, which it would have had it been an intruder who was responsible. Nobody heard any signs of a struggle either. I think the knife was there to throw suspicion off from the real culprit. Yes, that makes sense. But who did it? Did do it then? You prove to the guard that the thread matches Bob's clothes. Yes, I'd have to agree on that. But we need more evidence. You prove to the guard, um, 
Bob did not use poison on the beehive. Excellent work. Have you considered your career as a detec detective? But I'm afraid uh, it's not quite enough. You match Bob's fingerprints to those on the dagger found in the body of Lord Sinclair. Yes, there's no doubt about it. It must have been Bob who killed his father. All of the guards must congratulate you on your excellent work in helping us solve this case. We don't have many murders in here in Gelinor, and I'm afraid we wouldn't have been able to solve it by ourselves. We will hold him here under house arrest until the time, uh, until such a time as we're, we bring him to trial. You have a gratitude. I'm sure the rest of the family as well. In helping to apprehend the murderer, I'll take the evidence from you now. You hand over all the evidence. Please accept this reward from the family. Oh my god. Oh, that's Jorda. Oh, at least we got three quest points. Oh my god. I don't feel good about that completion. I don't feel good about that one. I was stuck on it for so long. I was like, I was like, oh yeah, we know who, exactly who this is without even going to the second floor. Yeah, we got it. We're done. And then I just hit a wall. Oh my god, we're over an hour and a half. Oh. Well, a completion is a completion. I always forget that, like, not every quest is completely self-contained. Sometimes you need to bring in outside things. Okay, deposit 50, deposit that. Okay, a Gertrude's cat. Talk to Gertrude in her house west of Varok. Is that active? What is our next uh, amount of quest points we need? Is it 75? You know what, though? I do have a little bit of a Hercule Poirot vibe to me, don't I? Okay, let's see. Uh, open shop. 75 is next. All right, hopefully the next one goes a little smoother. I know who did that murder. All right. Let's go. Oh, Gertrude, this is the same place as uh, where one of the crest pieces was. Yeah, Caleb lives at Gertrude's, right. Hello, are you okay? Do I look okay? Those kids drive me crazy. I'm sorry, I think it's just that I've lost her. Lost whom? Fluffs, poor Fluffs. She never hurt anyone. Who's Fluffs? My beloved feline friend Fluffs. She's been purring by my side for almost a decade. Please, would you go and search for her while I take care of the children? What's in it for me? I'm sorry. I'm too poor to pay you anything. The best I could offer you is a warm meal. So could you help? Just a meal? It's not the best offer I've had, but I suppose I can help. I suppose I could even give you a nice yummy chocolate cake. Maybe, maybe even a kitten too, if you seem like a nice sort. Is that something you could be persuaded with? Okay. Well, I suppose I could, though I need more details. Really, thank you so much. I really have no idea where she could be. I think my sons, Shilop and Willow. Are these puns that I'm, I need to parse? I think my sons, Shilop and Willow, saw the cat last. They'll be out in the marketplace. The marketplace? Which one would that be? It would help to get, uh, it would help to know what they get up to as well. Really? Well, I generally let them do what they want, so I have no idea what they would be doing. They are very good lads, though. I'm sure they'll be, uh... They are just watching the passers-by in Varrock Marketplace. 
Oh, to be so young and carefree. All right, then. I'll see what I can do. Two young lads in Verrock Marketplace. I can only hope that there's no school trip passing through when I arrive. I'm going to talk to these guys first. There's a Shillop and a Philop. Is that Philip? Hello there. Hello? Have you seen Fluffs? Fluffs? He's your mommy's cat. Cat? Right. Bye, Kennel. 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 What's up, Philip? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, all the all the name puns that are just like straight up words. Once you realize it. Hello, what's your name? Uh, hello there. What's that you have there? We're a dragon. Uh, wow, what a nice dragon. Have you seen Fluff's little boy? Dwagon nasty. Dwagon eat fluffs. Ooh, hungry. Chomp, chomp. I see. I don't think this is the most helpful clue I've ever been given. Ooh. Okay, good talk. Let's go talk to Shilop and... Whatever the guy's name was. Okay, there's a... Is there not a shortcut through? I thought there was a, an agility shortcut. Oh, maybe not. Oh, this is the marketplace. We don't need to get through there. Okay, there's Chill Up. What's up, buddy? Oh, and Willow. Hey there, I've been looking for you. It's important. I didn't mean to take it. I just forgot to pay. What? I'm trying to help your mom find some cat called Fluffs. Oh, well... In that case, I might be able to help. Fluffs has followed me to my super secret hideout. I haven't seen her since. She's probably off eating small creatures somewhere. Where is your secret hideout? I really need to find that cat for your mom. If I told you that, it wouldn't be a secret. But if I need to escape from the law, I need a hideout. From my limited knowledge of the law, they are not usually involved in manhunts for children. Well, it's still mine anyway. I need a place to be alone sometimes. Those two little brothers at the house are such babies. Hmm. Tell me or I will inform your mom you're a criminal. What? You, you wouldn't. Anyway, I'll deny it all. And she'll be sure to believe me over some wandering killer like you. I'm an upstanding citizen. I'm her darling boy. And you'd have to forget about her rewarding you. Pop it, snitch. You decide it's best not to aggravate the repulsive boy anymore. All right. He doesn't have glasses. You lying game. What will make you tell me? Well, now that you ask, I'm a bit short on cash. How much? Ten coins? Ten coins? I'll handle this. Oh, that's chill up. Oh, I see. I was talking to the wrong kid. I didn't realize it was alternating. I'll handle this. A hundred coins should cover it. A hundred coins? What sort of expensive things do you need that badly? Well, I don't like chocolate. And have you seen how much sweets cost to buy? Why should I pay you then? Can you answer that as easily? Obviously, you shouldn't pay that much. But I won't help otherwise. I never liked that cat anyways. Fussy, scratchy thing it is. So, what do you say? Okay, I'll pay. But, I want you to tell your mother what a nice person I am. What? I want you to tell your mother what a nice person I am, so she rewards me for this search. It's a deal. There you go. Now, where did you see Fluffs? We had an abandoned house to the southwest of here. Near the apothecary, I saw Fluffs running around in there. Well, not so much as plodding lazily, but you get the idea. Anything else? Well, technically, you are trespassing inside there, but no one seems to care. Okay. Southwest house near an apothecary. Is that the apothecary?
Just the house? Okay, that's... I think that's... Yeah, that's the apothecary. Huh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, the sound effects. All right. It's weird, because my character is just, like, trying to scare the dog away. But the sound effect sounds like I'm, like, crunching him. Okay, so it's probably in here, right? Maybe not. Oh, hello. Ow! Plus hisses. Clearly wants something. Maybe she's thirsty. Do I need milk? Come on. Maybe I need a pot of milk. Okay, where's the bank? There it is. Do I have any milk? I think I have chocolate milk and stuff, but... Okay, let's try milk. Use. It's gonna work. Ew. Progress at least. Bluffs laps at the milk greedily, then she mews at you again. You goddamn cat! What do you want? He's hungry too. Maybe Gertrude knows what our cat likes to eat. Is it gonna be like cheese or something? Where did I get cheese before? I remember I got cheese to feed. Did I get it from the food store in Port Sarum? Maybe. I remember I fed um. I fed, uh, what was it? Like a gerbil or something, a hamster on a wheel? A chinchilla, something like that. How's it going, any luck? Yes, I found Fluffs. Well, well, you were clever. Did you bring her back? The thing, that's the thing. She refuses to leave. Oh dear, oh dear, maybe she's just hungry. She loves Dougal sardines, but I'm all out. Dougal sardines? Yes, raw sardines seasoned with dougal leaves. Unfortunately, I've used all my dougal leaves. But you may find some on the bush out back. All right. Dougal leaves. Uh, where do I get raw sardines? Um, Sardines have to be early, right? Sea bait fishing. Okay. Oh, it's bait fishing. Does that mean I need, uh, feathers? Oh, that's fly fishing? Let's fly fishing. Uh, what is, uh... I've gotten bait before. Yes. Did you get bait again? You, like, crush up something? Like crush up worms or something? I don't remember how to make bait. All right, so I can like check these. Is that, how do I know if it's sea bait or if it's just? Huh. Okay, it says Southwest of Lumbridge Swamp. 
It just says bait fishing. There was a way that someone told me that I could see what type of fit it is, right? Is it just is it just right clicking? Well, we'll try it. No, 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 no. Bait fishing. Got a herring. Caught a sardine. Nice, we got it. Okay. That not work? You're up dugo leaves all over the sardine. All right, let's go back to Varrock. Hey, how's it going? All right. So now we just head back to Fluffs. All right. Wrong way. How you doing, Stroke? Okay, so Fluffs is up here. All right. And I will use the Dougal Sardines on Fluffs. Okay, progress at least. Fluffs devours the Dougal Sardines greedily. Then she mews at you again. Okay, let's get bitten again. What do you want? Fluffs seems afraid to leave. Outside you can hear kittens mewing. Oh. Outside you hear kittens mewing. Where are these kittens? Oh, there we go. You find three little kittens. You carefully place them in your backpack. This explains why Fluffs is so agitated. Examine. Oh, it's very tempting to drop the kittens. Oh, I think my internet just, uh, just had a problem. I'm, I'm enjoying RuneScape a lot. Let's use these guys. Poops. Okay, what's up, Fluffs? Nice. Aww. Adorable. Okay, Fluffs has run off home with her offspring. Nice. Well, this is what is, uh, I presume, going a hell of a lot faster than the murder mystery went. Oh my god. I got stuck on that one for way too long. But thankfully, that gave us a lot of quest points. So, it's all right. Okay, Gertrude, how are you doing? Hey, Gertrude, Fluffs has run off with her kittens. Lost them, and I've... Uh... Lost them, and I have now returned them to her. Thank you. If you hadn't found our kittens, then they would have died out there. I've got some presents for you, and thanks for your help. That's okay, I, I like to do my bit. I have no real material possessions, but I do have kittens. I've cooked you some food, too. You're gonna give me a kitten? Thanks. I would sell one to my cousin in West Ardone. I hear there's a rat epidemic there, but it's far, uh, it's too far for me to travel with, what with my boys and all. Oh, by the way, the kitten can live in your backpack, but to ensure it grows, you must take it out and feed it and stroke it every so often. What? You get the ability to raise cats? Uh... What? Uh, 
Uh, so they said I had to bring it to like someone in West Ardone. You tell me how to look after my cat. I'm so glad you asked. What is it you need to know? How should I feed my cat? You'll find that most sorts of fish will help your cat uh, keep your cat growing and healthy. Although I don't think fluffs like eels much. As for drink, buckets of milk are best. Remember, if you don't feed your cat, it's likely to run away. Understandable, really. Thanks for the advice. Is there anything else you need to know? How can I make my cat happy? Hey, Ned, how's it going? How can I keep my cat happy? You can stroke it, of course. All cats like to be stroked. If you're feeling a bit more energetic, you can play with a ball of yarn. Cats enjoy playing with those. I've also heard uh, that skilled craftsmen can make clockwork mice as cat toys. But if this all seems like a bit too much effort, remember that a bored cat will run away in search of adventure. So the advice. Anything else you need to know? Uh... Okay. That exists. Can I hide it in the bank and not think about it for uh, a couple hundred hours? Is that a thing I can do with a cat? All right. Awesome. All right. Loop. I don't know why I have metal in here. I have a lot of stuff that shouldn't be in here, actually. Okay. What skill is this? Cooking lamp. Yes. Thank you. Priest in peril. King Roald. Sounds good. Oh, really? I've actually been to Mauritania. But I just walked through... Um, I just walked through a temple and fought a ghoul. Yeah, I didn't have a quest active. Like, I think, like, my second day of playing the game. Yeah, yeah. I think, like, my second day of playing the game, I just, um... I was trying to get every waypoint I could. So there's still a few I don't have. Like, I, I haven't unlocked this area of the world. Triftanis. And I think there's a couple others. Like, I haven't gotten the Lunar Isle. Uh, I don't know what else. If there's anything else I'm missing. I guess I can literally check by clicking this. Uh... Sorry. Is it just those three? Oh, I also haven't unlocked the bandit camp one. All right. Where's... Oh, there he is. Ah, greet the king. Greetings, your majesty. Well, hello there. What do you want? I'm looking for a quest. A quest, you say? What an odd request to make of the king. It's funny that you should mention it, though, as there is something you can do for me. Are you aware of the temple east of here? It stands on the ri river Salve and guards the entrance to the lands of Mauritania. No, I don't think I know it. Hmm. That was strange that you don't. Well, anyway, it has been some days since I last heard from Drezel. The priest who lives there. Be a sport and go make sure that nothing untoward has happened to the silly old codger for me, would you? Okay. Sure, I don't have anything better to do right now. Many thanks, adventurer. I would have sent one of my squires, but they wanted payment for it. All right. So are we just heading to that temple that I mentioned? Probably. Here, let's just jump here. It'll probably save us like 15 seconds. All right.
Assuming I'm going the correct way. Yes. So I think that's Seniston right there. I believe. Well, this is getting all moody, so I'm pretty sure this is Mauritania. Okay, Drezel lives in the temple. What's up, Brother Samuel? Do you have something interesting? Uh, okay, we're not doing that. We're running away. That's a whole other quest. Uh, by the by, uh, any chance you're up for getting shown the ropes of Dagonoth King sometime to stream to farm the dragon? Is that the, um, is that the thing to get the, uh, that, that's like the boss fight to get the hatchet? I am down to do that. Sure, I'm down to do that anytime. Uh, how long does it take? I, I do have a finite time that I can stream, but I still have a few hours. Okay, hang on a second. Okay. Did you want to do that now? Because I'm down if you are available. Sure, sure. Let's let's do it now. I'm going to head to the bank. I need to be um magic, right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Bring some cash. All right. What's your username in, in game? All right. Oh, okay. oh, you're Iron Giblet. All right, all right, all right. Okay. on a second okay sounds good all right I've spent very little time in Fremenic I've only done like divination here, I think. <sighs> Hello. Hello. Okay, there'll be a bit of a gauntlet to run. Are we gonna have my first in-game death today? 
Wait, did I? No, it's my second my second death, actually. I, I had that poison one that I mentioned a long time ago. Okay. Water birth. No, Outlander. I'm not taking you there. Okay. Well, and that ends that, that uh, this adventure. <laughs> no, Outlander. I'm not taking you there. Oh, that was a... Uh... It definitely was a gauntlet. <laughs> uh, I wonder what the requirement is. Here, let me just look this up. Uh, Water birth island requirement RS3. Let's see. Uh... Let's see. Um, getting there. Huh. Huh. Players can pay 1,000 coins to journey to the island. However, after completing the Fremenic Trials quest, players can join the expedition. Oh, thanks. Sekirial. I appreciate it. Quest locked, you think? Hmm, I wonder what, the, what their quest requirement is. Uh... Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Aggressive monsters. Oh, let's just look up Waterbirth Island itself. Go through talk option? I think I did. Talk to. What do you... Oh, I, I right-clicking. Let's see. What do you want from me, Outerlander? It is not... Uh, it is our policy to not associate with those not from our tribe. Where's your chieftain? I find it highly discriminatory to refuse to talk to someone on the grounds that they are not part of your tribe. I don't rightly understand your speech, Outerlander, but my loyalty is with Chieftain Brunt. He re oh, sorry, did, the, did I blind you guys with, uh... <laughs> did I blind you guys with the wiki? I apologize. He resides, he resides in our town hall. It is a large building over there. You should speak to him as he speaks for all of us. Okay, do we need to, need to talk to that guy? Let's talk to him once more. What is Jarvald doing? What are you doing here? It should not concern you, Outerlander. I am awaiting other Fremenics to join me on an expedition to Waterbirth Island. Waterbirth Island? It is a small crescent-shaped island just northwest of here, Outerlander. We have many legends about it, such as the tale of the broken sky and the day of the green seas. The reason I am traveling there is more serious Fremenic business, however. I doubt an Outerlander would be interested. Can I come? Hey, scary barbarian type. I think I can join your expedition. An Outerlander join us on an honored hunt? Well, I guess I might be, allow uh, be able to allow you to join us, although it is a breach of our many of our customs. Oh, please, I really love killing stuff. Well, I remain unconvinced that it would be wise to allow an Outerlander to join us in such a dangerous battle, but your enthusiasm seems genuine enough. I will allow you to escort us, but you must first pay me a sum of money first. What? That's outrageous. Why charge me money? And uh, how much does it cost me? Ah, the Outerlanders have stolen from my people for many years. In this way, you can help my community with a small sum of money. Let's say 1,000 coins, payable in advance, of course. For this, I will take you to Waterbirth Island on my boat, and will bring you back here when you have had your fill of the hunt, assuming you are still alive. To wish, uh, uh, still alive to wish to leave, of course. All right. Uh, nice hat. 
Hey, I have to say, that's a fine looking hat you're wearing there. Before you go, best also bring some sort of immediate teleport. All right. It is actually a helm, Outer Lander. So like, um, <laughs> like, uh, does the archaeology book do that? I don't think it does. This is actually a Helm Outerlander, but the sentiment is appreciated nonetheless. Or is it like one one of these uh one of these spells? Do I need to talk to the chieftain? The Book of Umworks? All right. Hmm. Okay, because he said I could pay, but then he still won't take me, so I might have to talk to the chief chieftain. Oh, I can leave. Okay, should I travel now? Let's go. I suggest you head to the cave with some urgency, Outer Lander. The cold air out here might be too much for the likes of you. All right. Hello. Oh, that's not you. Oh, wait, it is. Oh, ow. We go. Proceed regardless. All right. We're gonna get attacked the whole way. Sounds good. Don't attack. Okay, am I supposed to climb down? I panicked. Okay, we're gonna climb down. Come on. Oh my god. There we go. Come on. Should have packed more food. Why is my, uh... Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. That's why. This sure is a gauntlet. Ow. All right. Come on. Right. Come on. Go down the ladder. There we go. All right. 
right. No, 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 no. Oh. Okay. Okay. You're going to start us in an instance. There'll be three guys. Blue, green, and yellow. Blue, green, and red. Okay. Each one is only damageable by their combat weakness. Okay. Can you start the insta instance and go down? Follow you ASAP and run all the way to the east. Okay. And stand on top of you. Okay, sounds good. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna click instance encounter when I do it. Once you join. Oh, I can click it now. Uh, oh. J j what? Uh, wait, what am I doing? I'm sorry. I can click it now and select join. Type in your name already. Just don't press enter yet. So I, I click instance and, and join or something with you. Oh, on the instance and I click join. Max players. Two. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. Oops. That was uh, no. all right. Iron giblet. Oh, 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 I see. I see. I see. I get it. I get it. Okay. I get it. It's a resist name. Oh, I, uh, one second. And then once you're in, I can just click it. East. Oh, oh. 
Okay. And dead. Oh well. Good morning, guys. <laughs> Welcome to my first on stream death. Okay. I thought you would return. Do you want to reclaim any of your items? Yes. Reclaim everything. Yes. All right. Yeah, I had no idea when you went in. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Immediately run to the very southeast. Is it is it like a one block tile that's um is there like a one block tile that's safe or something from the magic guy? Okay. All right. S stand in one spot. So I, I'm guessing you you can target the uh, red and the other two stay back or something. Oh, run behind the pillar. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. I might watch a video on that at some point to get a better idea of, uh, of, like, the placement and things like that. It's probably hard to learn mid-getting pelted. <laughs> but hey, at least I know how to join. At least I know how to join an instance now. Let's see. <laughs> I understand. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate the, the lesson. It's also good to know that the death penalty seems rather mild in this game. Okay, I believe that's my second death in the game and first one on stream. All right. Where were we? We were heading to Mauritania. Uh, there we go. About, yeah, the run back. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Once you manage to kill 10 bosses total, or any of the kings once, or get lucky with drops... Let's see. You can teleport directly to the little safe area before the arena. Oh, that's awesome. Because if you manage to kill 10 total or any of the kings once. All right. All right. And so basically, you can, you can target, you can beat the red one, but then the rest of them you can't really do. Or do the other guys get stuck, but, but magic is just the best one to do it with. Like, could you do it with range, but melee, you're kind of out of luck because you need to get in combat range or something? Um, wait, who, who did I need to talk to? Uh, okay, Drezzle. For the safe spot, you can only do magic. All right. Good day to you, adventurer. Could you spare the time to help me? Depends. What is it? Uh, what's in it for me? Uh, well, our lord is always gracious to those who help him. I'm sure you'd be fittingly rewarded. Not right now, dude. Sorry, but that's not good enough for me. Your loss, our lord, can be very generous indeed. Come back when you see me and change your mind. One trick to teleport to a boss before killing it is to make a group. Set it to that boss. Ready up. Teleport there. Uh... 
is to teleport to a boss before killing it. Sorry, one second. <laughs> uh, trick to teleport to a boss before killing it is to make a group, set it to that boss, ready up and teleport there. Is it like a, a group teleport or something? Okay, so they all do... Okay, I see what you're saying. Okay. I mean, in the not too, too, too distant future, I should probably try the mole guy, right? Okay. Knock at the door. You hear a voice from inside. Who are you and what do you want? World sent me to check on Drezzle. Okay. Oh, cool, I see. Let's see. I haven't done, like, any multiplayer stuff in this at all, period. Let me just see something. Uh, we'll, we'll cancel that. Yay! Mm. All right, we're leaving that group. It, it was a it was a good group while it lasted. Okay, you get PTSD anytime you realize the archaic group injury still exists. Psst. Hey, who's Rowald? Who's Drezel? Uh, isn't Drizzle that priest upstairs? Oh, wait. Rold's the king of Varrock, right? He is? Hey, you deal with this, all right? Uh, he's just coming. Wait a second. Hello, uh, my name is Drevel. Drezzle. <clears throat> I mean, I mean, Drezzle. How can I help? Well, as I said, the king sent me to check that you're all right. <laughs> and, uh... Oh, my frames are dropping. And, uh, what would you do if I wasn't all right? I'm not sure. Uh, ask you what help you need, I suppose. Uh, good. Well, I, I, I don't think... Stay, the dog. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, will you do me a favor, bold adventurer? Yes. You sound like a trustworthy sort, and I'm a helpful person. Uh, really? Thanks, buddy. You see that mausoleum up to the north? There's this horrible big dog underneath, and I'd like you to kill it for me. I like how his name is in print, or not, is in like air quotes. It's really been bugging me, barking all the time and stuff. Please kill it for me, buddy. As you wish, one dead dog coming up. Not the first time I've killed a dog. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, I'll come back for you, Cerberus. One second. Uh, boom. And... There we go. Hey, okay, what's up, Cerberus? Bye. Okay. We did it. We're the good guy. Always uh good when the the priests tell you to murder a dog. Hello. Oh, drop frames. Internet. Why? Why right now? Why are you doing this to me? Knock at the door. You again. What do you want now? I killed that dog for you. Really? That's great. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot, buddy. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing, buddy. We're just so grateful to you. Yeah, maybe you should tell the king that you did a great 
what a great job you did, buddy. Okay, fuck these guys. You again, what do you want now? Okay. Can I just kick the door open? It's locked securely from inside. Okay, what is it saying? Everything's not with Drezel now that I've killed that dog. For him, I should claim the reward. Oh, Lord. I have a feeling this is not the end. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god. The king's like, can you do me a favor and check on this man? I'll be like, yeah, I'll be right back. Yeah, so I killed the dog you asked. He's like, what the... Wait. What? Uh. Oh, Drizzle. Oh, it's Ozan again. What are you doing here? Well, oh, hello there. What do you want? You have news of Drizzle for me? Yeah, I spoke to guys at the temple, and they said they were bothered by a dog in the crypt, so I went and killed it for them. No problem. You did what? Are you mentally deficient? That guard dog was protecting the holy well of the river, Sal. Without the dog, you could be in severe peril of attack. Did I make a mistake? Yes, you did. You need to get there right now and find out what is happening before it's too late for us all. But, but, but Drizzle told me to. <laughs> no, you absolute cretin. Obviously, some fiend has done something to Drizzle and tricked your feeble intellect into helping him kill that guard dog. You get back there and do whatever it is necessary to safeguard my kingdom from attack or I will see you beheaded for high treason. Uh, yes, your highness. Jesus. It's the dog. No one got angry when I poisoned that first dog. Okay, we're gonna murder some Zamorakian priests. Hello. What's up, guys? Have I got news for you guys? I probably don't need to kill you, but... I feel I have to for my own sake of my pride, you know? me one more you good there we go okay we're all good now all right let's go upstairs and look for drezzle slash drevel how you guys doing What does it actually want me to do? Does it want me to murder them? Okay. I presume these guys will just respawn. Let's head on up. <laughs> I 
<laughs> that would be very that would actually be a very very good um twist to the quest Hmm. Hello. Oh, you do not appear to be one of those Zamorakians who imprisoned me here. Who are you? And why are you here? My name's Curlius Fry. King Roald sent me to find out what was going on at the temple. I take it that you're a Drezzel. That's right. Oh, praise be to Sarah Doman. All is not yet lost. I feared that when those Zamorakians attacked this place and imprisoned me up here, Mistelin would be doomed. If they should manage to desecrate the Holy River south, we would be defenseless against Mauritania. That was a river a good defense then. Well, it's a long tale, I'm sure. I'm not sure we have time. Tell me anyways. I'd like to know the full facts before acting further. Ah, Sarah Doman has granted you wisdom, I see. Well, the story of the river south and how it protects Mistelin is a story of this temple. And of the seven warrior priests who died here long ago, from whom I am descended. Once, long ago, Mistelin did not have the borders that it currently does. This entire area, as far west as Varrock itself, was under the control of an evil god. They were There was frequent skirmishing along the borders. Um, as the brave heroes of Varrock fought to keep the evil creatures that are now trapped on the eastern side of the river south from overrunning the human encampments, who worship Sarah Doman. Then one day, Sarah Doman himself appeared to one of our mighty heroes, whose name has been forgotten by history, and told him that should we be able to take the pass that this temple now stands in, Sarah Doman would use his power to bless the river and make it impassable to all creatures with evil in their hearts. This unknown hero helped group together all of those, the mighty... Uh, all of the mightiest fighters whose hearts were pure that he could find and the seven of them that rode here to make a final stand uh, and the seven of them rode here to make a final stand the enemy swarmed across the salve but did not yield for ten days and nights they fought never sleeping never eating fueled by their desire to make the world a better place for humans to live on the eleventh day they were joined by the reinforcements from a neighboring encampment but when those reinforcements arrived all they found were the bodies of those seven brave but unknown heroes, surrounded by piles of dead creatures of evil that had tried to defeat them. The men were saddened at the loss of such pure and mighty warriors, yet their sacrifice had not been in vain, for the water of the salve had indeed been filled with the power of Saradomen, and the evil creatures of Mauritania were trapped beyond the riverbanks forever by their own evil. In memory of this brave sacrifice, the ancestors built this temple, so that the land would be fr uh, would always be free of the evil creatures who wish to destroy it, and laid their bodies laid the bodies of those brave warriors in tombs of honor below this temple with golden gifts on their tombs as marks of respect. They also built a statue on the river source, so that all who might try and cross into Mithilin from Mauritania would know that these lands are protected by the glory of Saradomen. And that good will always defeat evil, no matter how the odds are stacked against them. Okay, I can see how the river protects the border, but I can't see how anything could affect that from this temple. Well, as much as it saddens me to say so, adventurer, Lord Saradoman's presence has not been felt on this land for many years now. And even though all true Saradomanists now know that he watches over us, his power upon this land is not as strong as it once was. I fear that should the Zamorakian somehow pollute the salve and desecrate his building, his power might not be able to stop. The army of evil that lurks to the east, longing for the opportunity to invade and destroy us all. So, what do you say, adventurer? Will you aid me and all of Mistelin in foiling the Zamorakian plot? Yes. Yes, of course, any threat to Mistelin must be neutralized immediately. So, what can I do to help? Well, the immediate problem is that I'm trapped in this cell, and I know the key to free me is nearby, for none of the Zamorakians who imprisoned me here were ever gone for long periods of time. Should you find the key, however, as you may have noticed, there is a vampire 
in that coffin over there, and I do not know how they managed to find it, but it is one uh, of the ones they su that somehow survived the battle here all those years ago. Hello, Nickman, how's it going? And is by now quite, quite mad. It has been trapped on this side of the river for centuries. Do I need my hammer and uh, stake again? And as those fiendish Zamorakians pointed out to me with delight, as a descendant of one uh, one of those who trapped it here, it will recognize the smell of blood should it come anywhere near it. It will, of course, then wake up and kill me very, pro very probably slowly and painfully. Maybe I could kill it then while it's asleep. No adventure. I do not think it would be wise for you to wake it at all. As I say, it is little more than a wild animal and must be extremely powerful to have survived up until today. I suspect that your best chance would be to incapacitate it somehow. How about some garlic? Interesting, but I feel like garlic would be too weak. Perhaps you can use the salve itself to hold them at bay. Okay, got it. Find the key to your cell and do something about the vampire. When you have done both of those, I will inspect the damage uh, which those Zamorakians have done to the purity of the salve. Depending on the severity of the damage, I may require further assistance from you in restoring its purity. Okay, well, first things first, let's get you out of here. All right. Search but find nothing useful. I don't know what the importance of that picture is. Huh. Well, guys, hello. Hello. Don't mind me. There we go. Here's number two. Oh, Gnome Ball. There we go. Got the key. There we go. You know what? Beautiful. Okay, let's free him. All right, wait. How goes it, adventure? Any luck in finding the key to the cellar or way of stopping the vampire yet? I have the, uh, this key from one of those Zamorakian monks. It's some work, adventure. Try it on the door and see if it will free me. Oops. Okay. Huh. So do we need to do some more murder? Take that. Anything to interact with? Oh, I see. An That's the same key we got, right? Oh, by the way, yesterday I unlocked a level 60 Dungeoneering, so I got access to the Blue Dragon resource dungeon. I poked my head in there for a minute. Yes, there were lots of Blue Dragons. The name did not lie. All right. Anything else up here? Not that I see. Oh, what's that key? Is that the same? Huh. These keys all identical? Okay. We have to head out anyways. You also use it for armor, do you not? For, like, ranged armor? Oh, Blue Dragon Hide. What's up, Blaze Sharp Eye? 
Hi there. Would you mind me asking what exactly it is you're doing and what's that big contraption over there? Oh, internet. Why today? Why are you doing this? Why are you dropping? I'm afraid it's top secret. Really hush hush important stuff. I can't tell you what it's about. But if I could, I'd tell you that we're, uh, I'll tell you all about this amazing new network of beacons. We're creating to guard against the mountain mounting threats in Mauritania and the wilderness. Oops, did I say that out loud? Yes, yes, you did. You know, you yourself look pretty skilled with these old tinderbox, uh, with the old tinderbox yourself. Tell me, you have the burning desire to set things alight. Uh, maybe. Well, then maybe you're the man for us. Okay, this is a this is a, a whole other quest. I have seen a bunch of these around though. Yeah, I've had a dodgy internet the past two days. Popping some frames. Hmm. All right, let's investigate this tree. An old knotted tree. Maybe Brother Samwell knows more. Okay, so they said I needed something from the river itself, right? Okay, Samwell was that guy... Don't do the Brother Samwell quest. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. That was the one that I almost started, and then I... Yeah. I, I'm going to try to go mostly in order for a bit. I've been in this room before. Sarah Doman is the vessel that keeps us safe from harm. Sarah Doman is the delicate touch that brushes us with love oh is this saying we need to bring a pot oh serodomen is the light is this a candle that shines through our lives are these items we need to bring is the hammer that crushes evil everywhere serodomen is the spark we need a tinderbox Is the needle that binds our lives together? Can I yoink that? Is the key that unlocks the mysteries of cake? Ow. Okay, I guess I have to light up everything before I can take it. Look down the well and see filthy polluted water along uh, of the river Sal. Moving slowly along. Okay. Let's do it again for funsies. Ow. Okay. So what did I need? I needed a pot. Oh wait, I have all I need right now. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay. There we go. <laughs> In my head, I was like, oh, I, I put each of those items on the pedestal and then I can take away that key. That was doing like the inverse. All right. Okay. Hey, what are you doing up here? Excuse me. Don't like the cell door. Oh, thank you. You found the key. 
Yes. All right, what's up? You fitted the lock. You're free to leave now. Yes, excellent work adventure. Unfortunately, as you know, I cannot risk waking the vampire in the coffin. you have any idea about dealing with a vampire? Well, the water of the salve should still have enough power to work against the vampire, despite what those Zamorakians might have done to it. Maybe you should get a hold of some somewhere. Okay, do I need to... Um, get a container for the water. Right. Let's pray at the altar for Fonzies. Oops. I don't want to murder that guy. Okay. I'm going to be right back. Oh, the bloodwood tree is in the crater. Oh, well. Some other time. All right. Uh, you know what? I'm going to throw these here, actually. Bucket. Hot. Go back to four and three. Ah, uh, you know what? Wait, 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 wait. One more thing, just to be safe. While I'm here. I'm just getting all my vessels, my possible vessels, to contain water in case the game is really specific about something. Brother Samuel is freaking out. Go down to the mausoleum. All right. Nice. Let's fill up everything for funsies. Nothing happens. Drop my vial down there. I don't think I'm likely to get it back. Okay. I feel like we're just going to be waking up a vampire by splashing a sleeping dude in the face with water. Seems like a questionable plan, but let's do it. Right. What's this quest? Oh, interesting. The enemies are jumping up in level for the early quests. Water doesn't look particularly holy to me. I think it's better to check with the priest first. Are you going to bless it? All right. Hang on a second. Can I just talk to you? Unfortunately, as you know, I cannot risk waking the vampire from the coffin. I have some water from the salve. Do you think, uh, it seems to have been desecrated though. Do you think you could bless it for me? Yes, good thinking adventurer. Give it to me, I will bless it. Okay, bucket of blessed water. All 
right? What's up, Drevel? I poured the bucket over the wa over the vampire's coffin. I think that should trap him in there long enough for you to escape. Excellent work, adventure. I'm free at last. That means sure that evil vampire is trapped for good. I will meet you down by the monument. Look for me down there. I need to assess what damage has been done to our holy barrier by those evil Zamorakians. All right, we can do that. Is there like a dug up grave right there? Ah, oh, Curlius Fry, I see that you've made it down here. Things are worse than I'd feared. I'm not sure I'll be able to repair the damage. Why, what happened? From what I can tell, after you killed the guard dog who protected the entrance to the monuments, those Amorakins forced the door into the main chamber and have used some kind of evil po potion upon the well which leads to the source of the river salve uh, as they have done this at the very source of the water it will spread along the entire river disrupting the blessing placed upon it and allowing the evil creatures of Mauritania to invade at their leisure what can we do to prevent that well I have placed this holy barrier on the entrance that leads to Mortania, but it will not remain powerful and require me to remain here focusing upon it to keep it intact. Should an attack come, it would be, be able to breach this defense very quickly indeed. So, what we need to do is find some kind of way of removing or counteracting the evil magic that has been put into the river source at the well so that the river will f flow pure once again. Couldn't you bless the river to purify it like you did with the water I took from the well? No, that will not work. The power I have from a Saradomen is not great enough to cleanse an entire river of this foul Zamorakian pollutant. I only have one idea of how we could possibly cleanse the river. What's that? Mages have an ore called Rune Essence that absorbs magic and allows them to create runes. Should you be able to collect enough of this Rune Essence, it's possible that uh, it will soak up the evil potion that has been poured into the river and purifies. Kind of like a filter. Okay, I guess it's worth a try. How many should I get? Well, I have no knowledge uh, of these ores other than speculation and gossip. But if things I hear are true, around 50 should be sufficient for this task. Wait, 50? Will it, you accept it in noted form? Or do I have to do two full trips? Wait, can I put it in a, in a rune bag? Okay, I have a fuck ton of this. Do I have a, a, a rune essence bag? Let me just see something. I think I, I thought I did. Huh. Thought I had a. I thought I had one of these. Oh, pouch. Okay, let's let's check something out. Does it carry the essences? Oops. Oh, it literally only carries three. That seems not super useful. Okay. So, you said... I can get 25 pure. 
For some reason, I thought I had a massive... Or not a massive. I, I thought I had a large pouch. But I guess not. I'm almost... Po oh! Oh, I know why I don't have it. I don't have it because I used it to... To make a relic with some enchanted thread. That's why I no longer have it. Ugh. I was so confused. Because I spent like a lot on, on that at the time. Yeah, I turned it into a... Uh, I turned it into the relic that pr prevents pouch degradation. Right. The relic is great after level 90, right? When you get, like, the massive pouch or whatever it's called. I almost bought that, but then I realized it was useless for me. Okay, I brought you some rune essence. Quick, give it to me. Excellent, that should do it. I will bless these stones and place them within the well. And Mistelin should be protected once more. Please take this dagger. It has been handed down within my family for generations and is filled, filled with the power of Ceridomen. You will find that it has power to prevent werewolves from adopting their form in combat as long as you have it equipped. Wolfbane dagger. Okay. Cool. Five kudos. Nice. That's always nice. Let's see. Does this guy respawn? Or is he gone? There was like a, a, a ghoul there or something that I killed. All right. Let's go to Varrock real fast. All right. Okay. All fired up. Is that part of the uh, Mauritania line? Let's see. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. The Beacon Network. Right, 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 right. That makes sense. Uh, is it the Curator? Welcome to Verak. I'm so close to making this. I just need hunting ones, I think. Uh, have you any interesting news? This is not the guy. What's the name? Is it the Curator that I talked to? Master Quest Cape. I notice that you have acquired a new cape. Oh, this? The design was donated to the museum as part of the symbol of the spirit of adventure and the pursuit of knowledge. Would you like to purchase one? On second thought, you're yet to see many things. Guess I'll hold on to it for now. Forget which guy it is. The dude upstairs. Uh it was oh a historian? Hello. Hello there. Welcome to Varric Museum. Can I help you? I have some information that might be useful for your displays. That's grand. We're always glad to get more facts. Now, tell me what you know. Disturbing and heroic news from Mauritania concerning the River Salve and the Seven Priests. 
Oh? Yes, it seems that these seven priests were also warriors and drove back nasty things coming out of Mauritania. Then Saradomen blasts the self to stop them from getting back. Quite worrying. Uh, that it's just a bit of water keeping them there. But Saradomen protects us, I've no doubt. Thank you for the information. I'll get a display put up. Display number 23, fourth age. Nice. Okay, do I have enough? Oh, I don't have... No. Hang on a second. Uh, 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 Varrock. Oh, did I already get the kudos one? I can't remember. Uh, was it an easy one? But yeah, okay, I already got that. I see. Okay, for some reason I thought I needed one more quest. Okay, that was the dude who we talked to, right? Oops. Oh no, it says talk to King Roald. All Fired Up is a weirdly late quest. Talk about Priest of Peril. Hello, hello, there. hello there, what do you want? Ah, oh, it's you. Hello there. Hello, Your Majesty. I'm happy to report that the situation at the Temple of Pat, uh, Pater Domus has been sorted. Islin's borders should once again be fully protected against the threats from Mauritania. Excellent, excellent. The kingdom of Mislin is in your debt. In my debt? Does that mean you're going to give me fabulous rewards for my efforts? Of course not. However, if it's the reward you're after, it occurs to me that there could, you could be of even more service to the kingdom, and this time there's payment for you. Oh, tell me more. Well, you see, because of the mounting threats from Mauritania and the wilderness, the southern kingdoms have banded together to take action. We have constructed a series of beacons that stretch all the way from the source of the River Salve to the northwestmost edge of the wilderness. You should be, uh, should there be any threat from these uncivilized lands, we should be able to spread word as fast as the flames can travel. So, how can I be of help? The task itself should be rather straightforward. I need you to help us test the network of beacons to make sure everything is in order in the worst, uh, in case the worst should occur. All right. I'm happy to help. Excellent. The Kingdom of Mistalin is eternally grateful. So what do I need to do? Mm, maybe a recommended quest to do after uh, the one you've completed could be a good thing. Let's see. Uh, talk to the head fire tender, Blaze Sharp Eye. He'll explore... Oh, do you mean, like, does it say it, like, in the actual quests? Or are you saying from chat? Talk to the head fire tender, Blaze Sharp Eye. He'll explain everything. He is stationed just to the south of the Temple of Paterdomus on the cliffs by the River Salve. Thank you, Your Majesty. I'll seek out Blaze straight away. Oh, I see what you're saying. With speed, Curlius Fry. The security of Mistelin is in your hands. Okay. Oops, wrong quest. All right. Let's just run straight there. I love the intro to the song. Nice. All right. I'm guessing I probably need to get logs for this.
Let's go. All right. Hello, Blaze. Hi there, King Roald sent me. He said you could use a bit of help testing out this network of beacons. Indeed, this is some excellent news. We desperately need someone to help us out. What exactly is going on? Well, King Roald commissioned these lovely beacons to serve as a hu as an early warning system. We'll be able to see their flames. Uh, their huge, majestic flames from great distances. There are 14 beacons in total spanning the south and west borders of the wilderness. It sounds like... Uh, you've already got everything figured out. How do I fit into this? Well, to test these beacons, we need someone to light a couple of them for us. So that we can, uh, determine whether or not they'll actually be visible. You mean you went out to build these huge things without knowing if they'd actually work? Don't interrupt. Now, yours truly has recruited some of the sharpest eyes this side of the river south to look after the beacons and to watch the horizon for signs of danger. In case of emergency, We've all got a supply of logs. Um, and can start a fire faster than a cat can sneeze. As soon as we spot a threat from the wilderness or a glow from another beacon, we can light our own beacons and send a warning across the missile and faster than anyone could, uh, than any courier could ever run. We've agreed to use the gnomish fire lighters to color the flames of the beacon's fires in an actual emergency, so it's safe to test the network with normal fires. So what do you want me to actually do? I need you to light a couple beacons for me to make sure we can see the glow from the flames on the horizon. By the way, if you reach level 70 de defense, Necronian armor is some of the coolest in RuneScape 3. Oh, nice. Yeah, I, I, uh, I need to raise my smithing a bit too. So, first, I, I can mine it though. So first of all, you'll need to know how to light a beacon. Our technique is super secret, but quite effective. All you do is put 20 logs of the same type on the beacon and set it on fire with a tinderbox. You really enjoy your job, don't you? Yes, yes I do. Now why don't you go over there and try lighting that beacon? Show us what you've got. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, I'll use this tree now. Let's see. Can you take wood? Oh, can you take wood directly out of the wood box for this? All right, I might just uh, only at a bank, sadly. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't use that deposit box. Okay, that's halfway there. I don't think I have many normal logs. I think I have a bunch of higher tier logs, I believe. Like, I probably have a lot of you. Uh, I think of what else I have. I think I probably have the most you, I'm guessing.
Unless I used it all. You know what? Let's go back. I can't remember. I was doing a fuck ton of fletching and a fuck ton of uh, construction. So I might have used it all. All right. Beacon number one. There we go. Well, you get away from that until you've proven yourself a true ally of Varrock. You can't use that. Okay, Jesus. Is he managed? To successfully light a beacon and have mastered our super secret beacon light lighting technique. Well done. Well, it's not like it was all that complicated. Well, apparently not for someone of your fire making caliber and expertise. Now that you've gotten the hang of it, we can show, uh, get the show on the road. If you'd be so kind as to light the beacon to the west and report back to me, I'm sure we can clearly, uh, can make it clearly that. Sorry, my brain is shutting down. I can make sure I can clearly see its glow on the horizon. Where can I find this beacon? Oh my god. It's near the limestone quarry, northeast of Varrock. Rest west of the rag and bones uh bone man's hovel. That's that's at um Fort Four and Three, right? My colleague, Squire Fire, oh my god, is tending the beacon. She'll help you out if you run into any trouble. Okay. Let's go to the fort. Oh, maybe I maybe I should have fi finished that dialogue. Okay. <laughs> My literacy is plummeting by the second. All right, double XP for these guys. Oh, is my internet dropping? It must be. There we go. Yep. Welcome back. Hello. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll get you. Oh, it's still dropping. Isn't it? Okay. Because it's looking like it's, uh... Not returning to us in good health. I think we should maybe call it there. So. <laughs> oh well, we'll call it there. I'll be back tomorrow with more Pokemon.